Hey guys, welcome to Tech God, and today we will see how we can airplay our iOS devices to our PCs and Mac. There are a couple of requirements like you need to install the software called Airplay Reflector, and you need to have an iOS device and a Wi Fi router. Just connect both of your devices to the Wi Fi router, install the software, and run it. Once you do that, you will see an option called Airplay on your iDevice. Just enable that and enable mirroring. Instantly, the moment you press that button, you will see your iOS device's screen on your PC. And for the first demo, I'll be showing you a game called Mountain Valley. That's a puzzle game, but uh, that's a paid game and an award winning game of 2014. And it requires a lot of graphics. As you can see, there are bright colors. And uh, my PC was able to hold very well against those colors. And as you can see on the iPad, it's uh, really bright, but uh, the game on your PC is adjusted to your screen settings and I have a warm setting for my PC because I like warm colors and um, so if you play uh, a game like a racing game called Asphalt or Real Racing 3 you will be able to you know play it quite well because the colors are more saturated in that way and white balance is adjusted and uh, the audio is also transferred through connection so which creates a very rich experience because you have great sound great display and of course as many apps that are present on your app store so i've completed that level and the next level is going to be much more harder so the next thing is uh, apple's numbers so if you are someone who use their ipad for productivity exactly like i do because I absolutely love Apple's productivity apps and uh, I use them to edit my documents and all so for example I have a sample here and if you want to change your presentation at last moment because they're not looking quite good on a bigger screen and you have a presentation tomorrow and you need to adjust all your heights and fonts and anything and you want to preview them on a big screen so that's a very useful feature for those who really do it and as you can see there are no drop frames in this and uh, the thing that I'm doing on my iPad is reflected very quickly on my PC and I've just changed the chart to a pie chart and that was quick and uh, it doesn't drop any frames that's the best part because all animations are clean and full animations they do not skip any frames so the third thing that I would like to show you is a photo editing app and uh, I really can't pronounce that name because uh, I don't know it's that I colorama or colorama or anything so that's a very powerful photo editing app that I use and of, of course that's a paid app but um, I got it for free and um, so this app I really use it on airplay because you uh, in this way you can see the full resolution of your image and how will it look in the final version and I really use it to create my YouTube thumbnails and some of my pictures on social media and uh, I installed it uh, a week before and uh, that's a very you know detailed app because you can control almost everything on this you can create masks and as you can see that's a painterly effect and uh, that was a very powerful effect if you had to do it on photoshop this uh, app adobe shape cc is my favorite app by far on any apple device because if you like a design or something on a fabric or a wall or a something something like a pen holder like this uh, so if you just capture that image it will extract the design from that thing and uh, I really like to use it on my airplay because you know in that way you can extract images more quickly and efficiently because you can adjust minor details like if you don't want these lines you just tap them they'll become white and you can remove it so what Adobe Shape CC does is that it extracts design and create a vector drawing of those designs on your iPad so once it stops rendering and it's believe me that's an iPad 3 that's why it's so slow on iPad Air 2 and I have that iPad but currently it's not available so I had to do it on this iPad and it's slow but on bigger versions larger versions of iPad it's pretty fast 
So if you were someone who have a lot of photos and video clips and I have a full movie here on my iPad so you can preview those things on your PC as you can see uh, that's actually kind of a live thing and what's happening on my iPad is clearly at the same rate on my PC. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. But don't forget to subscribe because my next video will be how we can make our iPad an external display and an extended display of our current PC. Thanks for watching.